Emmanuel. President, don't be ashamed of God. In your cabinet meeting, start with prayer, end with prayer. Anybody that meets you must know you know God. Can I tell you something? Power belongs to God. He gives it to whomever he desires. For by strength shall no man prevail. He says, Son, I had the opportunity to kill you. But I will not lay my hands on God's anointed. I will not touch you. Now, the one that even got me more shocked, Second Samuel chapter one and verse twenty. When I read Second Samuel chapter one and verse twenty, when the news came that Saul was finally dead, you know what he was saying? Please tell it not in God. Publish it not in the street of Ascalon, lest the daughters of the Philistines rejoice, lest the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. Even in death, he was loyal to Saul. Now, please, I want the Excellency to come with his cabinet. We want to pray for Delta State, using you as a point of contact to pray for Nigeria. All those who came with the governor, please come and stand in front of me and let this God that I serve begin to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. The commissioners, the cabinet, all of you come before the altar. We are going to use you as a point of contact to pray for Nigeria, to pray for Delta State. Church, can you rise with me? As we pray for Delta State, pray for Edo State, pray for this nation. Please join me to pray for this God-sent governor. In Jesus' precious name, kneel on the altar and kneel before your God and let tell God what your heart desires are. In Jesus' precious name, I pray for you, Your Excellency, the Governor of Delta State. God said to David, You will recover all before you leave office. That word, prosperity for all deltas, will practically come to pass. The peace today in Niger Delta will be sustained by the hand of God. In 2019, by the grace of God, you will return back to complete what you have started. The curse of hell will not be able to stop you in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, these eight years you are going to be in government house. Your body will not know sickness. Your body will not know disease. If you cannot be sick, your commissioners will not be sick, your cabinet will not be sick, your children will not be sick. There will be fruitfulness all around. I pray God to open your eyes that every area you need to look into to increase your IGR and to make the state more prosperous. May God Almighty in his infinite mercy, when you will come back again to this rock of ages, you will stand on this altar and testify that prayer works in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Please, can we honor God as we say amen to this prayer? Somebody say, Case settled. It is done. Please, you can now go and sit down. I'm here to worship God. I actually came on the musician of my friend, Pastor Charles Osazua. Uh, I'm aware that he had his birthday sometime this month, and he told me he was going to have Thanksgiving. I'm also aware that they have their program, and the program is ending today, so I needed to be part of the Thanksgiving and part of the worship. What we need to pray for is for the unity of this nation, 
and it's for the progress of this nation and that is what I've urged everybody to pray about because Christians have they have a calling and that calling is actually to pray for our nation and if you're praying for our nation you must pray for the leadership of the nation in course of this week's conference knowledge was impacted on the people and I've always said to be taught is better than to be prayed for so with this knowledge I believe the people will apply it and I also believe it will make a significant, tangible difference in their lives. Why the theme revolution? Revolution because it's critical to the stage and state we are in the country. It's a time for certain individuals to rise up, to take responsibility. Rather than complain, become agents of solution to the too many problems confronting Nigeria.